right Haven now. Haven has a new public safety director. Nicole Hudson is the first woman hired in this role for the city. Tonight, she met with the community she's protecting, and she emphasized her commitment to the community. She spoke one-on-one -on -one with our Matt Whitkos, and he joins us now with her plans to move the department forward. Matt. Yeah, Josh Hudson is looking to make a bigger investment into her department's needs. Having spent her entire career in Grand Haven Public Safety, she knows what her department needs to be successful. There were cheers and plenty of hugs for Grand Haven's newest public safety director, Nicole Hudson. It means a lot. It just uh, goes to show that hard work and dedication um, and the commitment to um, the people in the community and the department um, has finally paid off after 21 years. Hudson started as a parking cadet at the age of 19. My stepdad was in law enforcement, my mom was a nurse, and so just that ability to help people in need was kind of ingrained in me from such a young age. I just am really super, super proud of her. Lori Mason has known Hudson since she was in high school. So I saw her picture and I went, oh my gosh, that's a youngie, wow, so yeah. She's in, it, you're in good hands. And she is just a phenomenal, uh, compassionate, empathetic leader for the department. And it was a, uh, there was an overwhelming consensus on that fact. Grand Haven's first female city manager, Ashley Latch, welcomes the city's first female public safety director. She's so well deserving. It's about breaking barriers um, and just realizing that it doesn't matter who you are as long as you work hard and dedicate yourself. Now she's dedicating herself to the staff so moving forward, I just want to invest in our officers um, and make sure that they're getting the education and training that they want to be successful. And her city. So it's just finally nice to be in a position where I can make change, improve um, what we're trying to have at our agency and really invest in the people and the public. The city did have five candidates apply for this role. Latch says what made Hudson stand out was her compassion and her commitment over the past couple of decades to Grand Haven. Reporting in studio, I'm Matt Whitkos, Fox 17 News.